Baseball News Club presents mascots of college baseball and college in general. A lot of these are funny, odd, just weird. I'm not going to go over all of them because there's just tons of mascots. But what's interesting with mascots versus other sports, mascots in college have a lot of like back history and cool stuff like that. And I'm just picking a bunch that I think are kind of funny or kind of neat and ones that I like. And sorry, guys, I'm not going to do the Rhode Island School of Design scrody than ads. You're going to have to look at a search engine yourself on that one. So let's go and get started. Before we start, we're going to need you to subscribe, follow, comment, and like on the video. And then in addition, we announced recently that we do have a podcast. It's Ball and Play. We just started it this week, so it might take another week or two before it pops up on your favorite app. But here's a list of all the places that we're going to be posting. We're going to be posting on Monday and Saturday. First on the list is Scottsdale Community College, Artie the Fighting Artichoke. Really cool backstory uh, because of the administration's shady practice of using scholarship money in the wrong way. They decided to change the mascot into something that's really ridiculous and will stay with the school as a badge of shame. And there you go, the Fighting Artichoke. And another personal favorite, Dartmouth Keggy the Keg. Now he is the unofficial mascot. We say unofficial because the administration, obviously, for reasons that are obvious, refused to accept this giant dancing keg of beer. But I'm sure the students love him, and I'm sure every party you go to, the keg is decorated as Keggy the Keg. Stanford University, the Stanford tree. I mean, aside from looking like the craziest mascot or tree you've ever seen, there is a competition for the mascot is fierce every year because the students try to outstage each other which with outrageous stunts. The winner gets to strut around the fields the rest of the year donned in their own homemade tree outfit. So pretty cool competition there. Now a lot of schools have fighting in their mascot's name. This is the Fighting Pickle, University of North Carolina School of Arts. I really like the design. That would be a really neat Halloween costume. Now what's an interesting mascot is SLU's mascot, the Billikin. He has a really neat backstory. Actually goes back to around 1908, 1910. He's actually a mythical good luck figure who re represents things as they ought to be. Definitely look this up on a search engine and study the background. Next up is the Fighting Okra, Delta State University. Uh, the students wanted something mean and green, so an edible vegetable that is great in casserole was their choice. Okay, this one, I might mess up the name. Mortimer the Eutectic McPestle. St. Louis College of Pharmacy. Leave it up to pharmacy students to name their mascot after the process of two solids coming together to form a liquid. And his cousin Wushak from Wichita State. Super Frog the Horned Frog. Texas Christian University mascot has actually been around since 1896. Actually longer than the TCU name. He's not actually a frog, he's a lizard. Then we have the Pit State Gorillas. That's actually a really cool mascot with the glasses on. The Blue Blob, Xavier University. I mean, he looks like Grover after quarantine. He's a, a pretty big deal on campus. He replaced a sword-wielding musketeer who was kind of scary to children. Speedy the Geoduck, Evergreen State College. I'll let you dirty-minded people comment what he looks like right here keep it pg-13 speedy has received a makeover in most recent years to look more like a turtle then we have western kentucky university's big red he's one of my favorite i think it's a really cool mascot costume following suit little red university of nebraska's mascot and then we have gaylord the camel he's actually been around since 1934 and he usually struts around campus on a tricycle and then the friar providence college Kind of looks like some type of crazy Halloween nun. Wake Forest Demon Deacon. Kind of reminds me if the founding fathers of our nation had access to motorcycles, that's what they'd look like. Brutus Buckeye, Ohio State University's mascot. One of the most famous mascots in college. I really like his costume. Some people think it's kind of weird, but I really dig it. I'm going to take you guys a little bit further down the mascot rabbit hole. University of Arkansas at Monticello. The Bull Weevil. Kind of cool looking. Pesky little insect known for damaging crops. And then one of my personal favorites, University of California, Santa Cruz, Sammy the Banana Slug. Out of the Orange, the mascot for the Syracuse Orange, the athletic teams of Syracuse University in Syracuse, New York. Then Peter the Ant Eater from University of California, Irvine. I still scratch my head on this guy. 
Now don't get scared on this one. Grays Harbor College, Charlie Choker. Most people misinterpret the rope and kind of fear for their necks, but actually it's a choker bell, the wrapper on logs that make their transportation easier. Gus the Goose, Washington College, and they have the distinction of being the nation's first college founded in 1782. Um, the Goose is a direct descendant to a goose that befriended George Washington many years ago. Ophelia the Purple Cow from Williams College. A few more mascots and then we're going to wrap up. Sebastian the Ibis is the mascot for the Miami Hurricanes, University of Miami. And finally, Concordia's Colonel the Cobb with Niblet. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have yourself a great day.